What up you guys, happy Thursday, thank you guys so much once again for tuning back in and let's get into another recap. So I just want to let you go, uh, let you guys know that today I actually didn't trade, I woke up pretty sick today so I just slept in and my brother took over the account and I can just show you pretty briefly how he did on the day but um, he was actually up on the day $60 on TQs and he was down $4 on SQ so up basically right around a little more than what I made yesterday so very grateful for that and obviously he had a ton of filled orders so I'm not going to go through every single one with you that would take way too long but if you guys were curious about his filled orders they're all right here all right that took a little while to scroll down so I'm going to walk through with you guys kind of how you could have traded the Nasdaq today and mainly I want to cover one other topic on the video since I didn't trade but as far as the NASDAQ goes, right around here was when the market opened up at 6.30 in the morning. And we did have a, a nice little pop, but ultimately the NASDAQ kind of fell below this resistance it kept. And it just kept downtrending pretty hard. So there was a nice move you could have made going down. And like my brother always say, uh, say the way we would have approached this to trade and how he did today, I'm, I'm sure, is... We would have gone to SQQQ when we, because we would have got, wanted to go with direction on the day, right? And clearly looking at the most recent um, kind of lead up to the market open, direction was selling off um, pretty consistently. And that's why we would want to go with direction on the day until we got some type of indication that it was actually going to turn around and go. So uh, I would have gone to SQQQ as it started to fall below this blue EMA line. And I, me and my brother only like to average up when we see kind of a break below uh, a, a support the NASDAQ formed here. And if it really just wanted to keep forming these red bars to keep making these lower lows right around here. So we would have fully sent our other position on the candle breaking below here. And as it started to fall, we would have looked to offload some of those shares. And if we saw that it kept falling, obviously we would have wanted to keep loading up and then offloading until we saw kind of a big switch of direction kind of like this even though the direction would have kept falling that would have probably been enough for me to want to um, get out in case it didn't want to start rallying quick so there was that nice move down you could have made and in looking at the charts the nasdaq does end up finding another bottom here for a move up for tqqq and how would we have known that the direction was going to change right what's a good indication I really like to use this blue EMA line right here to basically tell me and and if you'll notice anytime the NASDAQ is below this blue EMA line it tends to use it as a resistance and it won't really want to cross it right so maybe it'll do it briefly but it'll keep getting rejected and falling and it's only until we finally broke above it and held right started making these higher highs now Right, and breaking these resistances, right? We didn't just kind of break above it a little and start falling again, but we actually held and went where you could have seen direction maybe start to change for a play on the opposite side. That wasn't that long though because it did end up falling again. And as you'll see, there did end up being kind of this, this little channel here that it wanted to trade between kind of highs around here and general lows around here. So that's how you could have gone about trading that. And as far as the video, I wanted to cover the topic of on-demand trading. So if none of you know what that is, it's basically a way that you can trade any day that the market has been open. It basically lets you simulate that day heading into whatever time you want, market open or an hour after the market open. And it really just lets you practice kind of any time of day you want because um, the limit of paper trading is that you can only do it when the market is also open, right? Because it simulates what's happening live. But on-demand trading is something that's really great because it allows you to trade whenever you want, basically, right? You don't have to wait till the market is open. And you can really take advantage of it, especially on the weekends, right? Especially when the market is not open those days and maybe throughout the week you actually wanted to trade the live market that's time when you can actually still get some practice trading in and to do that you, um, for the thinkorswim app at least that's what we're using it's going to be right up here on the top right on demand and once you click on that you are going to have to wait a little bit but basically it's going to load up 
And how you'll know it's um, on demand, it's not live, is obviously the top left here. Once it kind of um, loads up a bit, it's going to say on demand trading, just like it does here. And there's this obvious big orange highlight around your whole screen, right? And if you'll look here, here's the calendar, and this is set for July 14th, right? So on demand trading just popped up. That's how you know it's not real money or anything like that. And here is a date, right? So you could click on a date right here. It'll pop up the calendar. We just randomly had it set to July 14th. And you'll see the time, right? This is almost three hours after the market opened up. Here you could change your time. So, you know, if I really wanted to, I could set it to um, be, you know, this would be right around 10 minutes before the market opened up. Same day, you just click go. And you are you are going to have to wait a little, but it's going to buffer and show you that exact time, right? You, you are going to have to wait for it to load up a bit, but that's basically it. And it is very exciting, right? Like I said, it lets you get practice in times when the market isn't open. Or even if it is open and you just want to trade another day again, um, it, it's here for you, right? You can use it and it's a pretty cool tool. So me and my brother really just picked up on it. We did try using it a while ago and we found it maybe was a bit too glitchy for us uh, to really like it. But we really tried it again recently and we saw that it's pretty decent, honestly. And we are going to definitely be looking to take advantage of it on weekends. So just wanted to throw that out there for you guys as well if you were curious about it. And obviously if you want to take it off, you just click on, on demand again, I believe. Yep and it will say connected to real-time data so that's how you know you're back to your actual account so thank you guys all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed that little video and i'll see you guys all tomorrow take care